All right, so we landed in back mount. Choking arm is on top, okay? The one that's under the armpit, I'm gonna reach. A lot of times you can just reach and grab, but sometimes it's kind of stuck to them to where like I fumble here. So I'm gonna reach with the armpit grip and pull it open, thumb in, right there, like right there at the collarbone. If I start low, I just wanna zip it up. Okay. From here, I'm looking to, to reach for pants. My leg is already across the belt line, but if I was here, as I'm grabbing, I'm going across. So this one bails off completely because I go here, here, and this one goes wide and over the shoulder, and I'm looking to cross my feet. I go here. The only time you're allowed to cross your feet. Unless you lose this. Unless I lose this. Because then it's there. Yep. So, Really, as long as you have that pant grip, it's okay to cross your feet here because of the angle. She can't just step over it. And when I cross my feet, uh, I kind of like, I don't give her any of the room to do it anyways. But it's, it's not a good habit to be in, just crossing your feet, right? So I have this. Or it is a good habit. <laughs> have this. This is stopping her from running away. Because if I don't have that and I try to finish a bow and arrow, she slips out. I get to here, I'm stomping away with my legs, I'm drawing my bow, or starting a lawnmower, <coughs> here. Did you just call her a cat? Cheese pants, normally. <laughs> <laughs> that was a reach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back mount, open the collar, grab in. If I'm too low, make sure you zip it up. You don't have to go like super deep because then I'm just kind of like face crushing her. She might tap, but you're not gonna put somebody out with that, like if it's too deep. So I zip it up. And like to get this bottom leg like truly across the belt line, I need a shifter. So I'm using like my, my hips and my arm. That way I can clear space to grab pants too. So I pull her up, and then I reach and go across the bow. Cross my feet, draw my bow, keeping that tight, and then stomping my legs away. One more time. Do you need to see that one? Huh? You need to see that one. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Uh, what kind of questions we got? So it's like mostly your hand and your arm on the neck, not the collar. Or it's like collar on the carotid, maybe the first carotid, and then like mostly your hand and your arm? A lot of when I'm doing it, yeah. it's actually my wrist bone. That's yeah. instead of collar, that's giving you a good anchor point. Okay. And, then, and I'm casting into that carotid. <laughs> it, it is only hitting one side, but it's it's powerful enough to where isn't the collar hitting one side and the... Yeah. Kind of. And then it the is. wrist is hitting the other side. Yeah, so I, like, I don't know if that's fully shutting off the blood on that side. Okay. And if my hand is over here, that means I'm too low on the collar, probably. If it's, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. way over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And there's too much space. Um, but, like, okay. it, you'll have in the perfect spot when your wrist hits this side. And the, this, is, this is slowing down blood flow, too. There's like a plan B, C, D, E, F from this position though, so it's fine. Yeah. So. All sorts of nasty stuff. Yeah. Sorry, any, any other questions? Feel good about it? Let's try it on three. One, two, three.